San Marino, an enclave in Italy of just 30,000 inhabitants, boasts a national side renowned as almost consistently the worst ranking in the world. On November 14, their UEFA Nations League match against Gibraltar signaled a historic moment for this passionate team. The match ended with tears of joy and incredulity, and hugs and kisses worthy of a World Cup win. But the celebrations actually marked a 0-0 draw, an insignificant result for the league tables, but record-breaking for San Marino. The final score meant the first time San Marino had not lost two games in a row in the team's history, the previous competitive game they drew 0-0 with Liechtenstein. Emotional scenes ensued, coaches punched the air and centre-back Dante Rossi shed tears in his post-match interview. The result may not seem much to celebrate until one learns a little more about the San Marino national team. If their football skills don't earn them much admiration, their passion, persistence and sportsmanship do. San Marino's players are mostly amateurs who spend their days as bankers, dentists and accountants. They train as a team once a week. As such, the San Marino national side has remained almost immovable at the bottom of the FIFA World Rankings. The team has a comically bad record of matches. Before their two-game streak of draws, they had lost their previous 40 matches. The team has so far conceded 730 goals and scored just 24. The only time they won a match was in 2004 against Liechtenstein. San Marino's fans, passionate as they are, have come to accept failure as a given. Their chosen slogan is, My una joya, never a joy. Remarkable strength of mind and character is required to continue walking out onto the pitch each time, knowing the aim is not so much winning as trying to let in as few goals as possible. Head coach Franco Varela talked to magazine Sport Week about how he worked on the team's mental strength. I brought young people into the team to change the mentality. Previously, it was go to an away game, let in six goals and the day after go to work like nothing had happened. Like taking hits was our unavoidable destiny and so, okay, at least we had a trip abroad. Varela was strict with the team, urging professionalism and a desire to improve. We have an approach to matches that is completely different compared to the past. Our problem was what to do when we had the ball, thanks to Varela now we know, commented forward Nicola Nanny. The team still has many bad moments to reflect on. The worst memory, said defender Mirko Palazzi, is linked to the 0-13 against Germany, September 2006. They had just seen Italy win the World Cup on their ground. They came here thinking of getting their revenge, considering us to be in all effects Italian. They wanted to crush us. No insults or mocking, they seemed like robots, they went forward and scored goals. The side has suffered brutal and disparaging comments from other football teams too.